Hello everybody, I'm Happy Pinecone, and today I'll be coming up with concepts for my learning kit. A learning kit contains different materials, games, and activities you can give to a child to teach them about certain lessons and topics. These kits can be used by parents, teachers, and daycare people alike. One of my major requirements for this term is to create a learning kit that caters on math and science. This is a challenge because I don't really like math and just the idea of making materials freaks me out and calls me to hide under a box somewhere. However, there's still a ray of hope because the pandemic allows me to make everything digital and when everything is digital or two-dimensional, I don't have to make 3D props which I am bad at. Unlike my other videos, you will be witnessing a series of drawings and recordings done in several days. It's basically like those art vlogs without the vlogger's face. So, without further ado, take a seat and draw on me. Hi everyone, welcome to another recording. After weeks of brainstorming, I finally came up with some ideas for my learning kit. My current plan is to revolve it around a story I made up and work my way there. The story is very simple, it's basically about a blanket and what he's doing today. How is it related to math and science you say? Well, it turns out that to a preschooler, math and science aren't about the formulas and theories we're used to. They are more about the concrete things like daily routine, day and night, parts of the body, how plants grow, etc, etc, etc. That kind of math and science. It's all about exploration and helping children understand the world around them, as well as how it relates to them. And to keep things simple, I'll be focusing on the day and night cycle, because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. It took me forever to come up with this idea. I know it sounds weird, but I originally came up with something that was way more complicated and long and I can't just and I just can't do it right now because I'm going through a lot of stress lately. It's been a rough term. For the speed paints, I was illustrating some concept art. The character for my story is a blanket called the Cuddler. He is part of my Mavitypedia series on Instagram and I made some changes in his design and he looks as cute as always. I also played around a bit on how his body would work, which was really fun. I might give him a new name for the story. If you have any ideas, send them to the comment section below. I also thought about what kind of world he's living in. I imagine it to be a soft, blankety world filled with more soft things. I don't know why, but it just sounded cute so I'm just rolling with it. The house would be made of thick blankets with patches. I added a button to be the window for the chimney. I made it to be a rolled mattress cloth sewn to the house. And speaking of the chimney, I thought fire would be impossible in a world of blankets since it doesn't go well with soft things. Instead, the clouds coming out of the chimney are just bundles of soft stuff stuck together with black rods. I thought something like that would make more sense. Now, some of you may have noticed a slight difference in my art style. Well, for this project, I decided to experiment with lineless art instead of doing my usual line work. I thought that changing things up would motivate me as well as further convey the softness of the world I'm making. So here they are! Another day, another recording. After several rewrites, I was finally able to finish writing my short story and now ready to start sketching the thumbnails. The thumbnails are small rough drawings on how my story would look like so that I would have an easier time with the output. Because the learning kit materials have to be soft copies, I decided to format my story into a digital format. I also had to finish the thumbnails as soon as possible so that I won't cram later on. I did something like that before in another storybook requirement and it wasn't a pleasant experience. So for the story, I changed my mind about certain things. Instead of focusing on the routine of the cuddler, 
I changed the perspective to the sun and moon themselves. Using some rhyming tricks and the like, I attempted to describe their functions in relation to us and the earth as quickly and as simply as possible without leaving out too much information. It took a while, especially with the read aloud segments, where I had to read aloud what I wrote to see if it sounds weird or off rhythm. Children's stories are often read aloud to the kids during story time, and in order to give the narrator and audience a good time staying and being engaged by it, those read aloud sessions are important to me. Later in this video, I might show some speed paints of some of the pages I will be working on. For reasons, I won't be revealing my entire story here. The final materials are for my teacher's eyes only, and I'm unsure if my work would be commercially ready for anyone else. So yeah, enjoy the speed paints! Hi everyone, it's me again. I have been focusing on my work off screen for quite some time now, and it was exhausting. After several trials and errors, I was able to get something satisfactory. So the illustrations, I wanted to make two showstoppers for my storybook. One is the sun setting and the other is the moon setting. Composition wise, they look similar. I admit that I really struggle with them. To compensate, I wanted the colors to be awesome. So for the sunsets, I wanted it to be filled with dark purples, pinks, and reds. And the sunrise will be filled with blues and yellows. I wanted the look to be crayon-like, so I did some experimenting. I even had to look up some references. I am unsure with the accuracy, but nonetheless, I think they are cute. Oh yeah, I'm using Screen Rack as my recorder for the footage. Streamlets have been giving me choppy recordings lately and it often slows down Krita. Screen Rack is lighter than for my laptop and so far it gave me smooth recordings. I will continue testing it for future speed paints. Yeah, other news, by the time this recording is finished, I am probably almost done with my storybook. It was such a ride, but that's not even the end of my journey for this learning kit. I still had to make the worksheets and all the activities centered around the storybook. I will probably not show them in this video, but I hope you enjoyed the speed paint. So, see you after a while. This is so far one of the most interesting yet challenging school requirements I have ever had in this term. It really pushed me and brought my many weaknesses to the forefront. One of those weaknesses is graphic design. That being said, I know someone who gets it better than I could. That's my smooth segue for today's shoutout, Made by Macy. Made by Macy is a YouTube channel made by, well, Macy. I've known her for a long time and from experience, she's great with her hands. Her channel is very versatile with complimentary content that could work for you. Are you someone who likes those chill study videos? Well, Maisie has that which includes various studying and note-taking tips that you may find useful. Are you into time lapses of graphics being made? She has that too, where she's currently making monthly calendar wallpapers using Adobe Illustrator. Are you a gamer or someone who likes watching other people play? You're in luck. Currently, she is doing a Minecraft series. Her content has decent production value and Macy herself has a great personality. She has this chill spunk about her that you won't get bored. Once again, check out Made by Macy. The link is in the description below. And that's the end of my art-ish blog. Thank you so much for watching this far. What do you think? Do you want more videos like this in the future? What other videos do you want to see? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're at it, like the video and subscribe if you want to be updated with my latest video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.